Hey, this is Matt with another tutorial walkthrough video. This time on my easy image optimization in PHP tutorial that I wrote for the Twilio blog. Now in this one, as the name implies, I'm going to show you how to optimize or reduce or compress the size of an image with PHP. Now it's a pretty cool tutorial. I think uh, it's a topic that I think is still quite pertinent because I believe Yes, it does having a little bit of a scan there of the tutorial. Um, over the course of the last 10, 15 years, websites have grown quite a lot. Sorry, the size of websites have grown quite a lot. Um, and one of the key uh, reasons for that is images, the other being video. So if you want to get your website available to as many people as possible, as quickly as possible, then it's best to know how to optimize or compress images so that you still have the same level of quality, but for as reduced or as small a file size as you can. Now I go into a bit of detail just down here about six of the common image formats. Four, I believe, are the older, kind of more venerable uh, ones that have been around for almost as long as the web's been around. Um, those being GIF, JPEG, PNG, and SVG. And then two of the newer, really awesome image file formats. Those being a AVIF, AVIF, I'm going to call it AVIF because that just seems to sound better to me, more natural, and WebP. Um, if you'd like to know more about those newer formats, then check out this awesome article from Smashing Magazine, which I've linked to here in the tutorial. Otherwise, in this bulleted list here, I've got a, a quick introduction and sort of synopsis or snapshot about each of those formats and a little bit of when you'd use it and perhaps when it's not the most applicable. Otherwise, what are you going to need to follow along with this tutorial? As I try to do in all my tutorials, as little as possible. Uh, because you're going to need a series of tools for this to work properly, those being, as you can see here, JPEG Optim, JPEG Tran, Opti PNG, PNG Quant, and SVGO. Uh, to save yourself a bit of time, if you'd like, grab the Docker Compose configuration file, which is available in the project's GitHub repository, and make sure you have Docker Engine and Docker Compose installed and ready to go, or Docker Desktop. Um, those will let you get up and running with the Docker Compose configuration, which has all of those tools ready and available. Uh, otherwise, you can install them yourself. Then you'll need PHP 8.2 with the file info and one or both of the GD and Image Magic extensions installed and enabled. Then naturally Composer. JQ is not a hard and fast requirement. It's more of an optional. Um, and then naturally, if you're going to convert a file, an image file that is, from one format to another, make sure you have one available, such as a screenshot of your desktop or whatever it is you want. And then one last, not really requirement, but it'd be great if you did, but not essential. And that is experience with PHP's Mezio format. Now, if you're not familiar with Mezio, it's the latest iteration of what once was Zen Framework, which then became Zen Expressive and then was recently renamed. This might seem strange using this framework as opposed to Laravel or Symfony. I have nothing against either of those two. They are wonderful frameworks, but I thought they get enough press, enough attention as it is. Why not shine a bit more light on one of the other frameworks available for PHP? Um, I'm also a little bit biased. I've been using it in its various iterations since version one. Uh, I also, cheeky plug, wrote a book on it. So if you don't know anything about Mezio and it seems interesting as you go through the tutorial and you'd like to learn more about it, either check out the documentation at docs.mezio.dev forward slash Mezio or grab a copy of my book. You can find it at mezioessentials.com. And a quick plug again is what it does is just gets you up and running with the essential information that you need to know about the framework. And then from there, you can build your knowledge as and when you need to. Anyway, cheeky plug over. Um, so 
assuming you have all the tools installed, you've got an image ready, the application itself doesn't really do a whole lot. All it really does is um, convert it at your image from one format to another. So let's not talk about it. Let's do it. So coming over to Postman, I already have the URL of the request uh, inserted in the URL field. If this is your first time seeing Postman, it's an awesome tool. Don't worry, I don't do anything too complicated here. I've set the request type to post, the URL to localhost, and listening on port 8080, which is what I use for pretty much all of my tutorials. Then we need to open the body tab. For some reason, it's put in key there. Not sure why. I'm gonna try that again. If someone knows why that happens, could you let me know? Because I don't. And then we're gonna open the form data option. And then I'm gonna put in image. And that, if I can just mouse over and pick an image, and that's gonna be, because this is a Twilio tutorial, I'll pick the Twilio logo and set that there. And then a second value is going to be, where is it? File name. And now what this is, is the name of the file that will be, uh, that the original image that is being uploaded will be converted to. So what it does is give it the name. So what is the application gonna save the file as? And also based on the extension, what format will the code convert the image to? So I'm gonna call it Twilio, if I could spell, logo, and we'll say JPEG. Let's keep it nice and simple. And then my last one, or the last option that you have to put in, is image quality. Now, this is a value from zero to 100, which just sets what is the quality or the compression rate of the image. So I'm gonna say, I don't want it to be compressed too far. So actually, no, let's compress it pretty heavily and put it to uh, 25%. Everything looks right. For some reason, the request has changed again, oddly. Otherwise we're good, so let's run that. Let's have a look here at the result, which is, as you can see, JSON output, nicely formatted and printed by Postman, so it's easier to read. And you can see two things. One is the original file that we sent with the request, so its name, its size, and its type. And then you can see the new file that was created from converting the original, which is, then it's the name that we gave it. The size is what, under a tenth of the original, which you'd kind of expect with that much compression, and that it's a JPEG. Now, if we open that up, I have them here. I'll kind of move that to the center and increase that as much as I can. And you can see that this is the original on the right. And this is the compressed converted file. And you can see, I hope it's coming through in the video, you can see some artifacts here and kind of around the edges um, of the various points in the image. You kind of expect that because of such the, the, the level of compression used. Um, so what I guess is kind of cool is that you can then use that to say, well, okay, that's too much compression. So let's back it up a touch. So how about we go up to 50% compression and do that again. Again, we've got the same output. Our compressed or converted image is not that much bigger, but still a lot smaller than the original. Let's have a look and you can see here there are some artifacts but there's a lot fewer of them let's say okay so it's still okay and the image size is still notably smaller than the original how about we go up to say only sort of move down 80 percent instead let's do that we can see here that we're still quick for the math in my head we're what under a sixth of the original size and now looking at it, they're virtually identical. Like the PNG is still crisper, but the, the like the JPEG, if you were happy with that, um, if it was sort of suitable for what you're doing, if no one really kind of see it enough to notice the difference, that one's fine. And let's just for, for argument's sake, do one last one. I realize this is a slightly longer video. Press it again. We're now at about still under half. 
and now they're virtually identical. And that is the application run through. You can see that it's pretty trivial with PHP code. Actually, if you look in the code, it really is to convert an image from one format to another, save yourself a lot of space if it's applicable in that particular case for you for whatever it is you're doing. Um, and there's not a lot for you to do. And it's pretty easy to, uh, to integrate that into an application if you had that say as a service. Now, as always, if you wanna know anything else about this tutorial, check out the tutorial. I'd love it if you would have a, a deep dive into it, have a good read through. Uh, you can find it at twilio.com forward slash blog forward slash easy image optimization PHP. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Turn on the bell notification icon and subscribe to the channel would be cool too. That way I know that you're really interested and this kind of content resonates with you. Otherwise, as always, I'll see you next time.